Hey there, Tyler Lubin at Visual Intelligence, and today we're going to be talking about uh, performance. So a lot of times when you're dealing with you know small data, you don't ever really have to worry about performance. Uh, but whenever you do have to deal with a large data set, performance becomes a huge deal. Um, so in this video, we're going to cover all of my little tricks and tips um, that I use to try to optimize performance whenever I have those uh, those huge data sets that I really need to optimize. All right, so first thing uh, I would like to start with is at the actual data uh, connection. So if we're getting the data from a, a database or something, uh, the first thing that we want to do is try to do any type of uh, complex equations or calculations at the database level, okay? So ideally we would we would go um, and you know maybe do a view uh, within SQL or something, or we can uh, write some code here and write the equation uh, so that the, the actual the actual database runs that query instead of Tableau having to run it. All right, so first try to get all of the queries done within your data if possible. Um, sometimes you can't, which is fine, but if possible, try to get all the queries done first. Okay. The next thing is you always want to extract your data. So right now I'm looking at a live connection. You you don't ever want to do live unless you absolutely have to. Um, unless you need real time data um, instantly, then you need to do an extract. Okay. Just set up a refresh schedule uh, so that you keep the data fresh uh, and, and do that extract because that I mean that is going to be a deal breaker right there. If, if you can't go from a live to extract with a large database, you're going to be waiting forever for that dashboard to render. Okay. So do an extract if you can. More than likely you can, so just do it. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and start rendering this extract. Let's go up and hit the extract button right here. All right, from here, we're going to see an edit button, and this is going to give us some extract information. All right, so now we have our extract dialog box, and within here, we have some things that are going to help us with performance. Uh, the first thing is an extract filter. So the difference between an extract filter and a data source filter is the extract filter will not even let the data come in the extract. So you would actually do the filter um, at the kind of the database level so that the data doesn't even get into the extract and doesn't, you know, add additional data in your extract that you don't even need. The data source filter, it actually goes in the extract, but it doesn't come out the extract into your dashboard. Okay. So if possible, do an extract filter um, so that it doesn't even come in your extract and you can optimize that as much as possible. Okay. So let's go ahead and add that filter. Uh, I'm going to go in here and I'm I'm going to look at my different offices and I am going to exclude Reno. Okay. So the Reno is not even going to come into my extract. All right. It's going to be excluded out of there. All right. Next thing I want to do is if possible, I want to aggregate my fields. Um, that, so that's going to, you know, um, gonna, it's, you're not going to have as much um, granularity, but it's going to optimize it because you're going to reduce your row sizes. So, for example, I have day level um, day level dates in my in my actual table, but I'm going to go ahead and roll these up to the month because I don't need individual days because all my calculations I'm going to be looking at it by month. I don't necessarily care about the days, so I'm going to aggregate my data up to the month, and that's going to dramatically reduce my row size. Okay. Next thing I'm going to do is I I built my dashboard already, and I didn't use a lot of my columns, uh, so I want to get rid of all of those columns, and I can do that by hiding all unused um, fields. And what that is going to do is when I run this extract, any fields that I didn't use in my visualization or my workbook, um, it's not going to come in the extract and it's going to, you know, reduce the size of my data once again, which is also going to help uh, with performance. All right. So let's go ahead and hit OK and let's go to our dashboard now. All right. So the extract is going to run and we're going to have to save it somewhere. So just go ahead and find a location to save it. And this is going to go kind of pretty fast. Uh, if you have a large data set, it's not going to go this fast. It'll take a while. Um, but this one's pretty small, so it should be pretty snappy. Okay. So now I'm going to go to my worksheet. And you'll see all of the, the fields that I didn't use is no longer there uh, because it, it, it got taken out. Next thing I can do is, is right-click my data source and go to Extract. And then do Compute Calculations Now. 
And what this is going to do is going to calculate uh, all of the, the calculations that I did in here um, in the extracts and save it in the extract, uh, which is going to help with performance because it's not going to have to run in here. It's going to actually be kind of pre-done in the extract already. Okay, so I do that and that's going to help optimize the extract some more as well. All right, now that's finished, and now that is going to optimize extract because it's going to be saved in the extract itself. All right, so let me go back to my dashboard. Um, the next thing you're going to want to do is reduce any high marked visualizations. Um, I don't have any any on here, but a good example of that is like a scatter plot where you have, you know, you can have a million different um, circles on the scatter plot, and it's going to take forever for that to render because it has to render all of those circles and run all those calculations. Uh, try to keep Keep your, your dashboard as simple as possible if you have a lot of data um, because anything with a whole bunch of marks is going to uh, reduce, is going to take forever to load. All right, so try to keep it very simple if possible. Also, you're going to not want to blend data. Um, I, I recommend staying away from blending in general um, just because it, it is, is limited uh, as well as it has performance issues. Uh, try to do a join um, if you can. If you can do it in the database level, do it. If not, then do it in Tableau um, and, and try to stay away from blend as much as possible because that is also going to eat up at the performance. All right, the next thing um, I would do is uh, utilize context filters. So in this example, I have a district, which is north and south, and then May and the office makes up all of my offices within the districts. I made districts my context filter, um, which will allow me to, to have office as a dependent filter, and it's only gonna run the query based off of whatever I have in district. So if I have north and district, then the, the, the office is, is only gonna run on uh, my north offices okay so it, it reduces the, the the load and it allows you to to increase performance by kind of making your district independent and then anything under that will be dependent on district all right another thing you can do is use actions uh, actions are better than quick filters uh, when it comes to performance so for example I have a quick filter here that is office um, but I then added a, a quick a action here where I can select Salt Lake and then it filters the visualization and I can use this instead of this quick filter. So I can actually just delete this and then use this action as a, a filter without even having that quick filter on there. Okay, so try to use actions as filter as much as possible and try to reduce your quick filters because uh, all your quick filters uh, also impact performance. So just have quick filters that you really need. Okay. Uh, the next thing that I do is I add a show uh, all of a show apply button and that's because as you're starting clicking things it's going to have to run uh, every time you click or unclick something if you have this apply button you can click you know for instance north and then hit apply and then it'll just run it once um, I don't know if you notice but sometimes like you hit un uncheck all the all and then it runs and it takes forever and then you hit one and then it takes forever then you have to hit a couple more and it takes forever if you just do the apply you it'll just run it once Okay. All right. And the last thing is, is more of a troubleshooting thing. So if you're having problems figuring out what's wrong and what visualization is, is taking up all the time, uh, you can go up to help and go to settings and performance and then do start performance recording. And you can actually record your, your, your different movements, your different queries. Um, and then Tableau will then tell you, uh, what's kind of the, where's the bottleneck at? What is taking forever to do, to, to actually run? Okay. So these are my tips that I use, uh, to, to actually optimize my dashboard wherever I'm dealing with large data. Uh, I hope it helps. I do have a, a, a free PDF down low, uh, down below that has a PDF, uh, of what we just talked about. Uh, you can have all this in a one page so that whenever you run into a problem uh, with performance, you can just pull that up and, uh, and kind of go through and check through all these different, uh, different tips on how to improve your performance. All right. All right. Well, that's it for this video. I'll see you later.